there, welcome. Welcome to Home Keepers. Come right on in, my friend. So glad to be here with you today. And believing I've got a lot of new friends out there, don't let it be your last visit to Home Keepers. We try to deal with anything and everything that affects the home. So I guess we could be on TV every day for a lifetime and never ever touch all of the subjects that really affect the home, but we're gonna do our best. And we've got some of our best here today because Deborah Ray's back and she's been away, I think about three months. And she is the first lady of health. That's a title she's been given. And uh, so we like to have her on every month and we talk about things that hopefully will improve your health and things that, this is all the stuff I've collected to talk to her about, you know, magazines and newspaper articles and all, I'll try to bring you up to date on that. And I've told friends, I've never asked Deborah one question that she couldn't answer, you know, and she usually starts out by saying, well, Dr. So-and-so from Harvard said this in his recent study. And so we are, we are blessed to have her as a regular on this program. And I know that you love her a lot. And um, we're going to make cheddar potato chowder. And it's got lots of good things in it. I think with the ingredients going in that, you all might want that recipe. Something that you can just put together and uh, a lot of healthy stuff in it. So uh, Stephanie, I'll make that for you. I want to again offer you Beth Moore's Praying God's Word. This is one of the most important books I've come across in a long time and I, I do read a, an awful lot. I just noticed um, a quote from uh, Mrs. Charles uh, Kalman who wrote Streams in the B Desert and my parents read that every day and uh, I read it a lot. But she said, nothing lies beyond the reach of prayer except that which lies outside of the will of God. And the best way you can pray is according to the will of the word of God and pray the word of God. And these are some of the uh, subjects that she has in here that you might go to a self-help class, which is fine, but they're all touched on in the word of God too. Uh, such as um, overcoming pride and the deception and the feelings of rejection. You know, you can take those to the Lord. Overcoming addiction, uh, food-related strongholds, um, kind of way of that, saying that is overeating. And so she's broken this down into prayers in the Word of God that you can pray on these subjects. We're offering it to you for that gift of at least $20 to the program. That includes your shipping and handling. Uh, the... Uh, 800 number is on your screen, and that's 1-800-229-0059 if you use a credit card or debit card. Also, the address is on the screen, um, box 6922 Clearwater, Florida, 33758. And I hope you will take advantage of this, um, this wonderful book. I think it should be in the hands of every Christian, certainly a copy in every home. And now I've joined Sister Stephanie. You know, um, on the last show we did, we had these biscuit things that we burned. burned. I mean, they burned top, they burned bottom. Yes. And I don't think it was really anybody's fault because uh, they were baked this. Do you want to show the, the better one? Just well, bring yeah, one over. Okay, yeah. Um, but my, my story is, here, here's the way they're supposed to look. And here's the way the first group <laughs> came out. This is the bad group, this is a good group. <laughs> But it's not funny, Deborah Ray. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? The crew ate these up. Oh, Th there's only this one. You, you could. That just proves use the point for around a here. Golf. You you could use this for a golf ball. You could bring food in here and just put it on the table. It will get. So eaten, anyway, I'm you. Um, those are gone, and we're starting on a brand new. Yes. And this cheddar really potato chowder. It's funny, I was watching a, a, a previous episode of us to get a recipe, <laughs> and I was rocking, and then you got to rocking, and I was like, okay, I have okay. to be still, okay. because that was nauseating almost to watch. Did, did it uh, <laughs> kind of make you dizzy? Well, you know, yeah, like, because uh, I was like doing this, and then you started doing it, and we're both still. <laughs> I'm like, no, okay, be still, yeah. Stephanie, just be still. Okay, so I have two. I'm anxious to taste this one. I have two cups of water. Mm -hmm. I have carrots, celery, and onion that I'm going to put in here. And um, we cheated a little bit, and I microwaved the potatoes yeah, to get them wanna... a little softer because um, we don't have forever, and it, potatoes take forever. So. so that's celery, 
carrots, onion, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put the potatoes in. This is the time of year for good chowders and soups. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. We're and getting there, there. There's no end to the possibilities when you start making a soup. Right. I'm going to put some salt in here. No rules. No really. rules. No rules. I'm going to put some pepper. Yummy. And we're just going to let this... Um, I had it hot. We're just going to let it boil a little bit. And Stephanie has, through the years, has taught us an awful lot about preparing ahead. And um, sometimes she just takes a part of a Saturday and cooks things ahead of time, freeze and it. And for the whole, and then the whole week is taken care of, and I don't have to worry about mm -hmm. it. And I that's like that. such a that's a good thing for working women. Now, something like this, not this particular recipe, but... I'm going to put a little bit of milk in here. It says put mm -hmm. the flour in first, but I have the pan hot, so mm -hmm. I'm going to put the milk in first so we don't burn the flour. Um, but also, there are these marvelous recipes out there for a slow cooker. Oh, yes. I, I love mean, you, my You can put cooker. a roast beef in there and a few vegetables and forget about it. You get home, it's done. Yep, that's one of my favorites. I put a roast. Mm -hmm. I put onions, potatoes. Carrots, potatoes. And then I put some beef broth, salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Come home, dinner is cooked. And it has slow cooked, cooked and it's probably fall tender, apart tender, good. tender. Yep, so this is just milk and flour that we're just going to use as a thickening mm -hmm. agent. Yeah, and we okay. need to get those lumps out of it. Yep. I'm just going to whisk this up. Um, but, you know, when you think about so many women working outside the home, it wasn't like that when my... That's stuck in there, the flour's really stuck in is. there. If you were just home, you'd probably use your fingers, wouldn't you? Well, that's hot, so no. <laughs> <laughs> use wisdom in everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like it used to be where the mom, the women just stayed home and took care of the kids. and. But there are them. a lot of shortcuts. And oh, yes. We try, to, we try to help you with those. Yes. I had a gal on, I think I mentioned this to you before. She was just great, and she called herself a home manager. Mm -hmm. And if you really think about that, that is an awesome title uh, because a home should should run like a corporation in a way. Well, and you got that email not long ago that said something to the effect that this person couldn't work and she was feeling so down. Mm -hmm. And then you said that one tagline at the end, remember, there's no higher calling than that of a homekeeper, yeah. and it changed Gave her everything for her. I know, and I mm -hmm. got real teary-eyed when I read that mm -hmm. um, because if you're a home manager, that's more important than any other kind of managing you do. That's sure. hard work. That's yeah, a hard... It's, it's very hard work. And uh, you're trying to um, raise children. I had a guest on not too long ago who had written some wonderful books for kids, and her mother started teaching her when she was really young. By the time she went to school, she could read everything. She graduated at the age of six, uh, uh, 16, out of, high, out of college around 19. She was an attorney. She's been a judge. Wow. And her mother just started reading to her. Yeah, see, and that's amazing. Those are the messages. Put some cheese in here. I, I appreciated the wives of the presidents, Bush, mm -hmm. Barbara Bush and Laura Bush. They all, they both really pushed hard literacy, mm -hmm. getting those kids to, yes. to read and... We're, we're kind of trying to do that. Look at this yumminess coming uh -huh. together. Yeah. This is going to be very, very tasty. Yeah. You want to just throw that ham in here for me? Mm hmm Yes, we've been neglecting to get all of our ingredients. We. <laughs> no, you did and I did. That's two. <laughs> okay, that is we, I guess. Oh, look. This is yummy. Mm hmm And then we're just going to put this in there. And that should be a perfect consistency. Yes. Really. Now, this is speed cooking, so yeah, please um, speed cooking. this pan right here should cook a little bit longer when you're at home. But you're going to dump that in there? But I am going to. Yeah, because it. that's got enough water in it to to just make it a little bit better consistent. And remember, I had already microwaved the um, yeah. the potatoes. So, if you don't micro if you don't want to do that and you just want to boil them with your carrots. Yeah, because you just uh, it suggests those first 7 Ingredients, you just uh, boil them just for uh, about 10 minutes, so. Please, thank you. <laughs> Making a mess here. Okay, let me just get this stirred up. Let me turn that off so I don't mm -hmm. get Oh, look at that. Yes, man. That's fall in a pan. Yes, and just a good hard Kaiser roll with that or mm -hmm. maybe a sandwich of some kind. A or salad or something. Mm -hmm. good. Okay. All right. There we go. 
You get you a piece of ham. It's a it's a really nice uh, consistency. Yeah. Just about right. It's not too thin. It's not too thick. It's hot, I'm sure. So hot. Be careful. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh boy. That's a winner. And given a little time, that ham's going to do a whole lot yes, more in and there. Yes, it's going to thicken up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. You want this one. This is a winner. Yeah. We haven't always given them winners, but... Not always. <laughs> this one is, and um, it's yours, totally free. If you want to email us, Wanda is, emails them right back to you. Uh, or if you don't have a computer, send us an envelope with a stamp on it helps. We'll get it right out to you in paper form. But you, you do want this one, I promise you. Now, if you haven't met Deborah Ray, you're going to love her. So stay with me. If you would like a copy of today's recipe, just write to the address on your screen, or you can email your request to artheline at rippy.org. Deborah Rayback, she is a monthly regular on the program, but it's been gone most of the summer, and I want to hear about it. You went to Iceland? I went to Iceland. Oh, my goodness. Volcanoes and glaciers and steam coming out of the ground. It's an amazingly beautiful place. Wonderful people. Tell my friends out there about the people you met, the ladies who went there to work, and yes. I can't imagine staying there, but... They, they did. They came from the States, went for work, uh, fell in love with the country that has no crime, no drugs, uh, TV only from 5 to 7 p.m. The kids all play outside, uh, read. There's bookstores everywhere. Ended up marrying, uh, raising their families there, and now their children, having gone to, uh, to college in the States, are returning because they say, where else can you raise children in a perfectly safe environment? You know, that's, it's hard to believe that it's on our planet. Right, right. Now, with the downside, I mean, it's pristine. Right. There, there's no junk. No bottled water. <laughs> no bottled water. No bottled water. <laughs> um, how cold does it get? Uh, it's at the Arctic Circle, so it does get cold. Mm -hmm. It does get cold. And they talk about, you know, ter terrific winds in the wintertime, and you ask them, you know, is, is that a hurricane? Is that a typhoon? I mean, what do you call it in Iceland? <laughs> And they'll tell you, bad weather. <laughs> so they're hardy people. They're, they're very hardy, yeah. <laughs> yes. So great. And uh, you spent a lot of time in Canada, our wonderful, wonderful neighbor to the north. I've yes. been in Canada a lot, and boy, what great people. So what? I got all this stuff. Where do we begin? Where do we begin? <laughs> you sent me stuff about heartburn meds right. that are linked to kidney disease, heart disease, and vitamin D. Uh, deficiency and those that are past the age of 75 that have taken these drugs have more of a tendency toward dementia than those past 75 that did not take it. 45 percent increased risk which is significant. Well do a lot of people take heartburn drugs? They do. It's one of the most widely prescribed drugs in this country uh, because the way we eat, because we're a little too overweight, a little too sedentary, so all too many people take these heartburn uh, medications, whether they're over-the-counter, the prescriptions like the Prilosex and, and uh, some of those medications that are now available over-the-counter in different strengths. And I've heard doctors tell people, do, do you want strong bones or do you want to treat your heartburn medicine? Because when you stop the stomach acid, your body doesn't absorb the nutrients that it normally would and often you have conflicting goals with the patient and now of course the increased risk of dementia, pretty significant increased risk. So I really need to take a look at the risks versus the benefits because there are other things that you can do for heartburn including an amazing remedy from, from England, orange peel extract. It comes under the, the trade name Heartburn Relief and I've told a number of people about it and they say before I finish the first box my heartburn was gone, never came back. Orange peel, peel extract. Do you get it in a health food store? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is it? Is it the actual peel? Uh, it, it's, it comes in a capsule, so it's oh, a capsule. Right. So you they actually you know, put it in a capsule, 
um, you know, I, I, you know, that the science is probably intriguing. You know, who discovered that? <laughs> and, the and that is a good remedy, a natural remedy for heartburn. heartburn. I don't think I've ever had heartburn, so I Yeah, I I've never been plagued by it, but I mean, people, you know, treat this chronically. And they say one box of that heartburn relief, the orange peel extract, wow. and never came back. That is, that is good news. Um, Dr. Young said something on here on the program one day when he said medications really were meant for a reason, a season. And it seems like in America now we are getting on this one, this one, this one, take them the rest of our lives. I was just showing you a headline yeah. from yeah. the Wall Street Journal, Medication Overload. But yeah, a where did I put number that? of people that take medications. Here it is. Multiple medications. This is from the Wall Street Journal. Right, right. Medication Overload. Right. And we've been hammering at that a long time. Now, I want to make a disclaimer here. And don't you go ever and say, well, Arthelene does this, because Arthelene made her decision on the basis of knowing her own body and certain beliefs and research and having Deborah Ray for a friend. But way back when, I would say 20, 25 years ago, um, my gynecologist tried to get me to take uh, some kind of uh, progesterone or something like that. Hormone. I didn't know beans, but I, I don't think I want to take that. And I didn't, and what, 10 years later, they find out it right. is a receptor for cancer. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a statin, mm -hmm. and I've had enough doctors on here uh, where this whole cholesterol thing is a little, right. and so um, I think my doctor's a little disgusted with me, but um, I didn't take that. And now they're learning a lot about those. Mm -hmm. And then this is the good story. Uh, some kind of a bone thing. Well, I. My bones, your bones thin as you get older, sure, right? Sure, you're fair, uh, I'm fair, yes, yeah. you're prone to that. Yeah, right. so uh, this was prescribed and sent to my house. Mm -hmm. And so I took it back to the pharmacy, and I said, um, I think there's been a mistake, because I, I don't think I'm going to take this, because I understand if you take it long enough, it can shatter this jaw <laughs> and this bone. And the pharmacist said, you're right. Yes. Yes. So crisis. what you, you know, what we all need to do is do some research, right. pray a lot, because right. there are medications people need. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But what can you do with your lifestyle? What can you do with God's pharmacy? Mm -hmm. In fact, I just ran across an article that they're uh, taking a look at blueberries for bone health, because we know from oh, Tufts University that people who ate the most fresh fruits and vegetables had the strongest bones, not the people who ate the most calcium and animal foods. Really? That's... Like we would think. And the people that ate the most sugar had the weakest bones because it's that acid-alkaline balance uh, that we skew by the way we eat in this country. Now, didn't you tell me once that blueberries are good for your brain? Absolutely. They will actually stop the aging of your brain. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to get a bushel of those. <laughs> They're wonderful. No, I do eat a lot of them. Add them to everything. I do eat a lot of blueberries. Mm -hmm. And this one, I, I saved this for you because you oh, were out of thank town. Thank you. This is the cover of Time magazine, The Exercise Cure. Now, friends, you can do something. Right. You know, you can do something unless you're, uh, you know, t totally paralyzed. God, God help. God bless you. But I exercise almost every single day and try to get that heart rate up. And there's nothing. You can just walk. You can do, yes, absolutely. Regular mm -hmm. activity, just walking. Um, you know, absolutely. You know, whatever you love, mm -hmm. uh, whatever that you'll stick with. Because I had the opportunity several years ago to be at Ohio State University. They were having a, uh, an anti-aging conference, and Jack LaLanne, then at the time, and his wife Elaine were the keynote speakers. And uh, you know, here were these esteemed researchers and medical doctor there's from Ohio State University that said it is so significant, Arthelene, that it should be on every doctor's prescription pad. It's as strong as, if not more strong, than mm -hmm. the most powerful medications. It's something we can all do in our own particular mm -hmm. ways, but it can prevent aging of the brain, thicken our bones, affects you know, how we age. There are so many reasons, just like Scripture teaches us, to be active on a regular basis. Yeah, and you kind of have to know what you can do. I can do everything at home because I get little DVDs and work out with them. There's an instructor, you know. And, uh, but... 
if I didn't work like I do as many hours as I do, I would probably join a gym right. and all that. But what I do now is I'll do very strong walking for 20 to 30 minutes, mm -hmm. or I'll do a workout and always uh, weights. Uh, weights are very, very important. You can and use a water bottle. You can use, you know, small cans. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have to actually, you know, invest in, in, in weights. Mm -hmm. There are any number of things that we can do. Yeah, to it's make so it, simple. Yes, absolutely. So, so um, I want to get back to our, our <laughs> topic for today. <laughs> uh, a lot about um, Alzheimer's. Yes. And 80 percent of Americans, by the time they reach the age of 80, uh, will have developed Alzheimer's, if the statisticians are correct. How much? 80 percent of Americans, by the God time they help reach us. the age of 80. That's sobering. It's sobering. Now, is some of that because of the medications they're taking that rob the brain of fat? Uh, certainly possible because 80% of our brains are made of good fats. And of course, low fat diets are, are not healthy for us. Medications like statin drugs certainly increase our risk of that. Uh, but inflammation, we tend to eat an inflammatory diet, which means more meat, more sugar. So again, God's pharmacy reduces our risk of Alzheimer's. And there's wonderful ingredients like curry, turmeric. Which can, okay, what is turmeric and how do you use it? Because uh, I, I have a big article on that. Right, it's, it's actually uh, an herb more widely known in Southeastern uh, Asian cultures. Um, probably one of the most unique herbs because it's the only known substance, pharmaceutical or natural, that can actually reverse the, uh, the effects of radiation poisoning. Uh, but it's a very strong antioxidant. We know it reduces our risk of diabetes and 84% reduced risk of, of Alzheimer's, of dementia, men, uh, memory loss, just by one meal a month with curry. Okay, that is turmeric curry? Yes. Okay. Yes. And so you just, it's, it's like a seasoning though, isn't it? Right. So you, what, so you, you put, put a you, teaspoon or something in it? And you and Stephanie were talking about those wonderful one pot meals. Yeah. You know, put a chicken, you know, put a turkey breast, Put some curry sauce, and that's on all it, you some need. Peas and some onions, and then you've got a one-pot meal. That's you know that savory, warm curry, which is wonderful in those cool evenings. Because uh, I read up on this a lot, um, I'm at the age where you want to really hold on to your brain. Absolutely. Be honest with you, and so I read up a lot, and I've got a bunch of these books called Brain Games, mm -hmm. and um, I watch Jeopardy every night, don't ever call me when Jeopardy's on because <laughs> <laughs> you will not get a friendly voice. Um, but watching TV news or anything, I'm doing those all the time and I find I'm getting a little bit quicker with the uh, crossword puzzles and all. So and don't you gotta be proactive. Absolutely, don't mm -hmm. ever think that, you know, I'm, I'm too old to start because mm -hmm. that's not the case. Even building muscle, we can do that as efficiently at age 16 above as we do in our 20s. So it's never too late to start. And think of the money involved. My wonderful brother-in-law passed away a couple years ago from Parkinson's, and so my sister would uh, pick up his meds. And she said it was nothing. Somebody in front of her, you know, they have a bill of seven, eight hundred bucks. Um, so what we're telling you uh, would save you a lot of money. Buy a few blueberries. <laughs> side effects are going to be good. No bad side effects. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, I tell you, one thing I want to do on this show is really help you. Um, here's um, an article on uh, Alzheimer's. Take a, a meditation break. Uh, can, can you speak to that? Uh, Absolutely, because it's all about prayer. It's all about the peace in our life. And there are a whole series of, of, of I guess, uh, specters of science called uh, psychoneuro immunology, psychoneurocardiology. In other words, stress affects our body with very real physical effects. And we know that. When we're stressed, we're much more likely to come down with a cold or a flu. Mm -hmm. um, and we now know that whether it's prayer, whether it's meditation, um, it can actually physically affect those stress molecules in our life. Um, and we, our body has a second nervous system in our gut. So people who say, oh, I get upset, my stomach gets upset. Um, you know, yeah. that prayer, here that here. peace, that meditation. Yeah, and don't be afraid of that word. You know, a lot of words have been twisted, but right. David meditated all the time. Right. I meditate on the word day and night. 
Absolutely. So, uh, and then the other one they have, uh, hit the gym regularly. There we go again. Absolutely. Uh, Alzheimer's prevention. I take the Mayo uh, newspaper, mm -hmm. and they talking about even painting by numbers, anything, sure. anything that by motor skills occupies right. your, and um, keep brain and body strong. Right. It's so there's hand in hand. Such a such a connection. In fact, I just ran across a very interesting article uh, for youngsters saying they do better on test scores if they do some exercise at the beginning of a day before they sit down in classroom. They actually function better mentally when they're physically active. Yeah, and uh, boy, it's sad in America. Some of our kids so don't go to school kids. with a decent breakfast, and, no. and that's going to have a long-range long range result. Uh, and then this is also out of our newspaper, uh, Clues to Dementia. And uh, those are those are very sobering to read, you know, if you're unduly anxious, and um, will certainly rob your memory. Uh, when problems. they become less spontaneous mm -hmm. and all, uh, what what do you have there? I think you were showing that before the. Yeah, we were talking about the uh, the heartburn medications. The, we were also talking about uh, uh, turmeric, you know, for for diabetes. Uh, so again, you know, those herbs have multiple effects. How does the uh, the turmeric affects more the uh, type two diabetes, right? Right. What's it, it do? Level out blood sugars or what? It, it helps to combat the inflammation, and if you're higher at risk of inflammation, mm -hmm. we're at higher risk of diabetes, uh, cancer, heart diseases. All those diseases were a much higher risk if we have that uh, that gene. We're much more susceptible to it. But things like activity, I mean, mm -hmm. interesting, two days of no activity increases your risk of inflammation. There you go. So the dots connect. <laughs> the dots connect. You know, the Bible says that he's come that we'd have life and have it more abundantly. I really think that some of these things are going to have, you know, help you to have a far more abundant life. And they're so simple and they're not expensive. So I thank you for being with us. Uh, send us some of your ideas on these things and we, we do try to bring you the very very best when it comes to health and i think we do with deborah and dr young and and some of the other things so stick with us and please remember there's no higher calling than that of a homekeeper god bless you if you should miss a homekeepers program you can catch up by going to www.ctnonline.com click on ctn programs and then on homekeepers